this isn't a live video, so uh, I can't say hello to anybody. But I just felt that I kind of had to do this. I'm not got, I've got myself a stick, but I'd rather go a bit more portable and just show you myself. I'm on an island about two miles off the coast of Tembe, probably a mile, probably exaggerating a bit, um, called Coldy Island. Um, I think it's probably, except the Isle of Wight, it's probably the only island I've ever been to. Um, and well, it's the smallest island I've ever got off on. And there's no cars, barely any people. There's a tiny little village down there with a post office, a couple of shops. There's a lighthouse somewhere that way. This is just absolute pure tranquility. And I am so glad I've come here. There isn't, there's probably no crime. There's a monastery just down there, so it's quite a religious place. But I just, this has to be one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. Um, it's completely silent, there's no noise, except me. The odd person walking by, um, there's boats to and from here every kind of every 20 minutes. The last one's five o'clock, so I've got two hours. Um, on my boat there was four other people. Um, it's absolutely fabulous, just look, so peaceful. Um, if I could move here tomorrow, I think I would. Just absolutely stunning. And um, anyone who ever comes to South Wales, Tembe area, come spend a couple of hours here. It's so worth it. Really, really tranquil. There's no other word for it. Yeah. Hello, guys. Still on this beautiful little island. Um, I'm at what they call the old priory now. Completely derelict, it looks, but. I think it's not, I think it's uh, like a preserved old religious building. Just look at this. I know a lot of you won't be interested in this, but it's just little things like this that really kind of do it for me. <laughs> I just love visiting places like this. Absolutely stunning. It's just perfect. Just look at that. Do you know what? I am so glad I'm here on my own. Really appreciate this. Right, onwards to find the lighthouse. Hello guys. Um, I am now on the other side of Coldy Island at the uh, Coldy Island Lighthouse. You can see just in the distance, sort of over there, that is Tembe. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Literally the views from here. You can apparently see um, Lundy Island from here, which is just off the Cornwall coast, well, North Devon coastline. Um, we'll see if I can spot it. Nearly went there a few years back, but again, it was company. This is stunning. Let's have a look. Let's check out this. Absolutely gorgeous. If I just turn the camera, well, I can't turn it around whilst it's filming, but just look at that. I could actually present coast, couldn't I? Look at that stunning coast. The most gorgeous cliffs in the whole of Wales. Nah, I'm failing. Let's carry on. So according to this, the Gower Coast is over there. Devon is just there, but I can't see it. Lundy Island is apparently just there. And this lighthouse was built in 1829. Fabulous. Let's go 
to uh, go a bit closer to it, see what we've got to look at. Gotta love a good lighthouse, guys. I do anyway. Okay. Picture perfect. Without a shadow of a doubt, guys, for anyone who watches my videos, if you ever come to South Wales, come to this place, seriously is so peaceful and such a nice place to actually like just get, get out and explore I know I don't I don't tend to do a lot of sort of serious videos if I can help it but I mean just look at it it's absolutely perfect I I mean obviously you all know I love um, taking photos of all different places that I go to on my travels but this this really is something to behold I think what partly why it's special is because it's an island I've seen about I think two cars in the time I've been here but there's not really any roads um, I've seen a couple of quad bikes locals on them but besides that it's just all on foot it must be a couple of miles Length, probably a mile le um, width, I don't know. But it's just absolutely blissful. And the complete lack of people as well. It's. I would. I could literally build. I'll build a house here right now and set up home and never see any of you lot again. I'd be quite happy. Not because I'm not seeing you lot again, but just being away from everything. Absolutely amazing. It really is. So, I mean, I don't know how good the... Uh, let me zoom in a bit. No, it's not going to let me. But that's the Gower Coast. Just there, you can see on the horizon. Lovely. Right. folks still on uh, Coldy Island. Should any of you uh, ever feel bored enough to spend a week on Coldy Island, this is the one and only accommodation, St Philomena's, and I believe from memory looking at their website, there's no cost. I think it's donations and washing up. How often do you hear that? Unsurprisingly, there's no Wi-Fi at all. There's barely any telephone lines, so like the cafe over there doesn't take um, card. But thankfully the shops do, because I've got about a fiver to my name. <clears throat> this is just absolutely beautiful, it's perfect. So idyllic. There's just loads of little curiosities and things like that. Let me show you some things. I can find them. The place is just crawling with little follies, little buildings, shops. It's it's quite a sacred place. It's quite religious. I quite like that sort of thing. So I'm slowly heading back to get a boat back. Before we do, I'm just going to show you one last thing that I thought was quite special. So on a lot of the postcards of Cal uh, um, Caldy Island is this cross, which I'll take you up to now. Absolutely stunning.
and Tembi you can see just out there. And then we're heading to the oratory. I absolutely adore places like this, I really do. God, can you imagine living just over there? See a house over there? Counted about five houses. And then there's the monastery. But I'm not planning on becoming a monk anytime soon. This is the oratory. Let's go in. Peace be with you. Isn't this gorgeous? That for you guys. Places like this you just don't, you don't come across very often. Little prayer book just there. I have put one in there. Very rarely go to church, but I am religious. Not Catholic or anything, but interested and Christian. Yes, so down to the beach I go. Hello guys, so I'm at the end of my little trip to Coldy Island, just waiting for a boat to come in. I believe that's one just there. Um, what a beautiful place really is worth visiting. Um, I've been here two and a bit hours and it's, it's just been lovely. You know, I've, I've been everywhere on foot today. I haven't needed to choose my car, which made a nice change. My car's still in the car park at Timby. And uh, yeah, overall, if anyone's ever down this way, just come here. Absolutely beautiful. And couldn't recommend it enough. But amazingly, I've spent 50 quid and there's only two shops. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to get on the boat now guys, so I'll see you soon.